What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another video. So this past weekend, I went to Cosmic Con. The good, the bad, and the ugly of the show. Let's talk about that. All right, so... Last Saturday, went to Cosmic Con in Queens. And uh, the event, they were charging $16. You paid for a one-day ticket. It was a three-day event. They opened up Friday. Uh, I wasn't able to go Friday. But Saturday, I went, got there early. Good thing I did because parking was ridiculous. It was uh, Chinese New Year, and it was, uh, the, there was a parade going on in the neighborhood, so you just couldn't find parking. Fortunately, uh, this place was located in a mall. And the parking was only $5, so, but you're in $21. So if I'm going to a show and I'm in for it for $21, I'm going to expect a pretty good show, especially when I'm going to my Jersey shows for $5 and $2, and it's nothing but comic vendors. Don't get me wrong, I expect some cosplay and some other stuff, but I want some good comic dealers. And um, I was a little disappointed in the size of the place. As far as the, the amount of vendors that they had set up that were comic vendors. Um, but you know what? Um, there's a good story to tell. But let me show you the show floor and you guys can see what you think. So, you know, that, that's what I'm talking about. That was that was the place, you know, um, good vendors. There were, there was some some guys I had never met before. So I got to talk to some people, buy a few books, a couple of guys that I did know, like my man Fury's Comics. Um, and big shout out to Fury's Comics because he, uh, 
gifted me his first exclusive for Nightwalker's number one. Uh, really, really nice cover. And he gave me the foil also, man. So shout out to Fury's Comics. Go check him out if you're ever at a show. He's got pops. He's got books. He's got slabs. He's got a little bit of everything. And, you know, he's a big part of that Bronx um, Arctic Con that we, we were at in December. So shout out to that guy. Because he's one of the good guys that were there. And there were other people there. Nice people. But there were a couple guys there that are like, eh, sketchy. Quick story. I'll tell you a story to explain to you why I felt the way I did. I walked in and there was a booth there. You guys will see it in the video. And they were selling slabs. Now there was a sign that said $39 or $40 for a slab, right? And these were all minor slabs. But there were, uh, when you went into the first table there, there was like eight boxes there set up with slabs. And they said $35 a slab, buy four for 120 So I'm looking through and there's a, uh, young man with his father there, uh, you know, and they're going through the slabs, and they hand him four slabs, go to pay, and, you know, the worker takes the money, goes to the boss, the boss is like, uh, it's 160, and the kid was like, but the sign says, uh, buy four for 120, $35 a slab, and he points up to the sign up there, and then proceeds to say, I'll fix that, and rip off the sign on each of the, um, boxes that he had there and charged them the $40 price. Me personally, and I mean, you make your own opinion. Me personally, I would have honored that price and then removed those, um, those flyers off of there, off of those uh, slab boxes discreetly. I mean, you know, there were quite a few people that, that saw this incident. I, I, me personally, Everybody's got a different business model, so, you know, kudos to them. I'm not, you know, throwing any, you know, dirt on those guys, but it was, it just was what it was. Me, personally, I, I didn't care for that. There was another vendor there that shall remain nameless that just raises his prices ridiculously. And uh, I, I, I purposely go there and ask him for prices on books just to see what he's charging because I know they're going to be ridiculous. And sure as hell, they are. But... There were some really good guys there with some really good deals. Uh, like I, I'm saying, I met one of the newer vendors. I had never met him before. And I picked up a really nice copy of uh, Fantastic Four number 129. And this is the first appearance of Thundra. Good, good book to own. Great spec book. And uh, those DC keys picked them up. He had a copy of Boost to Gold. And he gave me a great deal on it. So thank you very much, uh... Another book that I keep picking up, especially with Armor Wars coming up and everything else. Um, why are you not picking up Iron Man 282, first appearance of War Machine, if you're not getting a good price on it? If you get a good price on it, pick it up every day. Real nice copy, too. Uh, digging through some bins, and they were marked at like $5 a book. But I was able to get a little bit of a better price. But uh, picked up X-Men 53, first onslaught. And a cover I just love. I think this is a great underrated cover. Uh, Women of Marvel. This is uh, Secret Wars number one. This is the uh, Amanda Connors uh, variant. Really nice. She crushed it. I, I like that style. So super happy with that. And then uh, there was another vendor. Again, somebody else I hadn't met before. He and his wife was selling and just got to conversating. He was selling some books for his uncle, which was really cool. And he gave me a really fair price. I picked up a nice copy of uh, X-Men 106. How can you not pick up some bronze? I'm telling you right now, those Bronze Age X-Men. And uh, X-Men 108. These were nice copies. And uh, this is the first John Byrne artwork on X-Men. So, uh, Interesting. And then the last book I picked up, and this is where you, you sit there and you go, this guy was a nice guy, he had great books, uh, he and his wife were selling, and I asked a price on the book, and he gave me a really fair price. And uh, I, I picked up for uh, 225 first uh, Fire Lord, for what I believe was a great price. But then you look up and he had a, a Young Justice, number, uh, Young Avengers number one. And raw copy, nice minty copy. I'll, I'll give that. They wanted five hundred dollars for that, so I didn't understand where the pricing was all around. You know, um, the show had Joe Rubenstein there, and Will Torres was there, so Judge Shaw was there. So there were some good artists there. They had a nice enough space. They could have fit probably a few more vendors in there, 
I think the place and the event have room to grow. There was a parking garage and they only charge you five dollars, so that was a bonus. But fifteen dollar entrance fee for what I saw there, eh? I, I I think it needs to grow a little bit more. Needs a little room. Will I attend it again in the future? I don't know. I'm gonna have to see what the lineup looks like and. I'll go through the vendors list this time because um, I got some good stuff, but I I, I I was doing some hustling and digging and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know. For $21, kind of a tough sell. But, you know, that's it for now. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this channel. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Uh, was it a good show? Was it something you guys would go to or not? And you know what? Uh, Darkwing Duck. My exclusive with Very Gary right now just dropped. Uh, check it out. If you go on IG under my IG page, you can pick this up. There's also a um, sketch. And there's a gorgeous virgin variant limited to 300 copies. But there you go. That e logo is on there with Gary. So, uh, yeah, that's it.